education leaves nothing but chances and opportunities and brings limitless boundaries to man's uncertain tomorrow. Success is not an accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. This line is according to Pele that for sure moved us especially in this time of pandemic as we face the new normal education. This school year has been very difficult to every one of us as we embrace the new normal scheme of education brought about by the global pandemic. We have been shaken but we stood firm and in hand and bravery both for tomorrow's dreams. To the champions in promoting quality, relevant, accessible, and liberating education. To our school's division superintendent, Carmelit Nopi Bernadas. To our assistant school's division superintendent, Sir Ray Bulawan. To our CID chief, Sir Nicolas C. Bailan. To our Education Program Supervisor of ALS, Sir Vicente R. Antopina Jr. To our District Supervisor, Sir Rato B. Isiha. To our Central School Principal, Sir Rudy M. Palanya. Proud parents, completers, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Virtual Completion Rights of Alternative Learning System. Porlos District for school year 2019-2020 with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Today, we are all living witnesses of accomplishments over hurdles, triumphs over defeats, success over challenges, and call for a celebration for we once spoke that nothing can stop to determined heart. To start with, let us have the Philippine National Anthem through audiovisual presentation followed by a prayer and devotion hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Yeah, I'll be 
Let us listen to Rosemary Isgarelio, completer for her welcome address. To the champions in promoting quality, relevant, accessible, and liberating education. To our school division superintendent, Sir Carmelino P. Bernadas. To our assistant school division superintendent, Sir Ray Bulawan. To our ALS focal person, Sir Vicente Antofina Jr., Miraflor B. Balois, and Ruel A. Balsita, Education Program Specialist of ALS. Sir Horanato B. Isiha, District Head, ALS Manager. A pleasant morning and welcome to alternative virtual completion ceremony. The most significant event in student life is none other than completion rights. And since it is the end of the stage in ALS education, it brings us a mixture of joy and pain. Joy for passing the revalidation of portfolio assessment and pain for saying goodbye to the people and being a part of our lives. My fellow ALS completers, we are about to reach junior high school, then senior high school, finally college. Alternative learning system put us the values that we need in order for us our future without fear. We would like to thank to those who work in organizing our completion rights to ensure that we will have a meaningful ceremony. Thank you, dear parents, as facilitators, for the knowledge you have given us, so with the lesson shared to us. And to my dear parents, visitors, honored guests, on behalf of the ALS completers, it is my pleasure to welcome you all. Thank you and good morning. Thank you very much, Rosemary Garelio, for your welcome address. At this juncture, let us listen to the message from the pillars of education who are the frontliners of promoting quality, relevant, accessible, and liberating education for all. First, well, we will be hearing a message from our very own Maria Gemma Mercado Lidisma, our regional director, to be followed by Carmelino P. Bernadas, PhD CISO 6, our very own school's division superintendent. My warmest congratulations to the graduates of Batch 2021. Today marks another milestone in your lifelong journey in achieving your dreams and successes in life. Finishing your basic education in the midst of pandemic was quite challenging. The shift from the normal to the current situation was a complete change for all of us. The process of keeping abreast with the latest trends in education was not easy, but you did your best in dealing with the challenges of the new normal. This year's graduation theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, highlights DepEd's commitment to provide inclusive and quality education 
while ensuring the safety of the teachers and learners from the health risks of COVID-19. My dear graduates, you have proven your resilience by braving the threats of the global health crisis in furtherance of useful and productive learning. I congratulate you for your courage and genuine commitment to contribute to nation building by continuously improving your skills and competence through quality basic education. To the champions of education, the tireless teachers, generous stakeholders, and loving parents, this occasion marks another unmistakable example that everything is possible when we unite and pull our resources together. I sincerely thank you for your commitment and inspiration in exploring the most sustainable ways of supporting the learning continuity of our learners in the face of COVID-19 pandemic. Dear graduates, the road ahead is full of uncertainties. Press forward. Let your dreams and aspirations be your guide toward achieving the fullest potentials and building a strong nation for the Filipino youth. Once again, congratulations and Godspeed. It is with great pleasure that I congratulate all the hardworking basic education graduates and completers of DepEd Schools Division of Eastern Samar, Batch 2021. Graduation and completion rights mark a significant milestone in your life where you have gained victory over all sorts of adversities. Indeed, the journey toward this end has been very tough and yet here you are taking the significant leap in your educational achievement that would bring you to better opportunities. Hence, you need to be grateful to all people who have been supporting you all the way just so you can reach this goal. The challenges of the new normal have been extremely unfavorable. More so, as you did your part in painstakingly performing your tasks as diligent learners, accomplishing the number of modules we provided, as well as the rest of the school requirements, and you handled them well. The theme for this year's graduation Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic aptly fits the DepEd's efforts to ensure provision of accessible, quality, relevant, and liberating basic education for all while ensuring the health safety of the teachers and learners from the risks of the dreadful virus. Thus, I am urging everyone to constantly pull our efforts together to further sustain the resilience in us wherein we have proven ourselves as survivors from various types of tribulations in furtherance of quality basic education. Allow me therefore to extend my words of appreciation and gratitude to all the teachers school officials, parents, the local government units, the non-government organizations, and all other stakeholders for all the sacrifices and support extended. You are instrumental to the attainment of all educational programs and projects as cited in our learning continuity plans implemented in our schools. To our dear graduates and completers, congratulations for a job well done. I feel delighted 
joining with you on this occasion with the able support of your parents and relatives because you have reciprocated our efforts of making all of you worthy to become the lifelong learners that you are now. You have just started to take the road less traveled. Continue to leap forward and be the best that you can be. The road you have chosen may have been rough and even at times threatening, but you survived and now enjoying the fruits of your labor. Rest assured that we in the school's division of Eastern Samar shall continue to maximize our initiatives as we implement reforms in our educational system to ensure that you become globally competitive and able to meet the demands of the society. Again, congratulations. At this juncture, it is my honor and privilege to introduce our pillars of education. Carmelino P. Bernadas, our school's division superintendent. Ray F. Bulawan, assistant school's division superintendent. Nicolas C. Bailan, CID chief. Vicente R. Antopina, Jr., education program supervisor, Bugs. Mary Plor B. Balues, Education Program Specialist of ALS. Roel B. Balsita, Education Program Specialist of ALS. Honorato B. Isiha, Principal in Charge, ALS Manager. Rodi M. Palanya, Central School Principal. Narcisa E. Lacra, District ALS Coordinator. Your Strolly, Ronald T. Kulis, Mobile Teacher. This time, ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the highlight of this event, the presentation of completers. To do the honor, let us welcome Ma'am Narcisa Lacra, District ALS Coordinator for the presentation of completers. To our District Supervisor, Honorato B. Isiha, I have the honor to present to you candidates for completion box 2019-2020. Elementary level, female 1. Junior high school, 33, female 28. A total of 62 completers who have completed the requirements of the Department of Education. Indeed, in every hardship and sacrifice lies the sweet fruit of success. Now is the perfect time to harvest all the fruits of your labor and hard, work, hard works. From all the burning night scandals and hurdles of students' lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the Alternative Learning System Completers of Hiporlos District Elementary Level and Junior High School Level. Ladies and gentlemen, the completers of Aporlos District, school year 2019-2020. Elementary level, Binaso Josephine E. Barangay Huknan. Junior High School level, Abletes Jerome G. Barangay Huknan. Ihon Antonio Jr. P. Barangay Biga. Bagunas Jake P. Barangay Biga Biong Christian Dave E. Barangay Biga Kabling Jason D. Barangay Paya Kabling Sherwin C. Barangay Paya Kaliwan Edward C. Barangay Paya Dilantar Julan B. Barangay President Rujas Ekliu Marvin B. Barangay Biga Fabiliar Martin B. Barangay 5 Poblacion Flores St. John C. Barangay Biga Gaban Miguel D. Barangay Hoklan 
Humambak J. Vincent E. Barangay Biga Padel Gerald Il Barangay Hukna Padel Steven C. Barangay Biga Palsis Jeremy G. Barangay Hukna Palsis Alvin C. Barangay President Rujas Tercio Mark Dennis C. Barangay President Rujas Waniwan Benji B. Barangay Hoklan Aguhayan May Kathleen W. Barangay Hoklan Aguhayan Metelen W. Barangay Hoklan Aguhayan Rosalie C. Barangay President Rujas Albus Maduna G. Barangay Higuso Kabilugan Juana T. Barangay Higuso Kulandog Giselle Y. Barangay Paya Kapagalan Michelle E. Barangay Hokna Kapagalan Cheryl E. Barangay Hokna Meranti Loida E. Barangay Hokna Meralies Ethel E. Barangay Higuso Ugaya Desi B. Barangay Hukna Pabilyo Arlen L. Barangay Hukna Palsis Meralyn G. Barangay President Rujas Pamiru Rizabel F. Barangay Biga Parelia Jaina M. Barangay President Rujas Tabulaw Analiza Is Barangay Biga Tangkion Angelen R Barangay Higuso Waniwan Serena May A Barangay Hoknan Waniwan Roslyn Q Barangay Hoknan Ronald T. College Mobile Teacher Litis Joel A Abuyin Jan Chris L Asidilio Ronel A, Algado Juvel F, Camarines Idric A, Castillo Randy F, Dadulye Bleth L, Galiasa Jupil G, Galiasa Mark D, Enciso Roni Mark P, e, Oroga Warin B, Prongo Brian D, Samson Joshua B, Villarreal Mark S. Famer. Abit Crisel A, Abrinsusa Jocelyn G, Divanadero Almera N, Fabiliar Region A, Garillo Rose Marie S, Gonzales Analisa C, Hinolos Johnny Lindy, Labutap Jelian D, Padreki Analin C.
can express how grateful and thankful our completers. Nevertheless, saying thank you, salamat, or whatever you may say as long it comes from your heart, it can be comprehended by a listening soul. At this point, let us lend our air to our brilliant and impressive education program supervisor, Sir Vicente R. Antopina Jr. for his closing remarks. My warmest congratulations to the awardees of this 2021 end of school year rights of the Alternative Learning System of the Schools Division of Eastern Summer. The world has faced various challenges and brought unprecedented crises in our education system, thereby interrupting the education of more than a billion young people, and that includes you, dear awardees. According to UNESCO, widespread impact of COVID-19 in social and economic aspects have put disadvantaged children and their families, as well as for all learners, which greatly stimulated the innovation and creativity to make education systems more just, inclusive, and resilient. Thus, giving as well the education system stakeholders a crisis-inspired glimpse into potential opportunities for improvement in the areas of curricular, students, teachers, and educational settings. These education systems include the Alternative Learning System, ALS, which caters the special learning needs of the learners, particularly those who for some reasons did not able to complete education in elementary up to junior high school levels. This end of the school year rights marks the commencement of your success as you try to reach your best ambitions in life. You, dearest awardees, are so blessed that despite of this pandemic situation, you manage and never did stop to pursue towards a better life. You have enormously persevered and gave all your efforts to reach this period of your life. I understand how difficult it was to organize your portfolio presentation. You have rendered sleepless nights, showered on your own sweeps, 
eyes dried with tears and pockets were emptied just to ensure that your portfolio meets the requirements of the portfolio presentation assessment criteria. O oh, di ba? Kaya naman pala na kaya ninyo at patuloy ninyong kakayanin. Huwag sayangin ang pagkakataong ibinigay sa inyo ng DepEd sa pagmagitan ng Alternative Learning System, ALS, na itaguyod muli ang inyong mga pangarap sa buhay. Dahil sa ALS, may pag-asa. The competencies you have acquired in the Alternative Learning System will enable you to become a more functional member of the family, community, country, and the world. You have discovered your potentials and overcome your weaknesses so as to improve your life in the future. And as you go along with your life's journey, never forget those people who are behind your success. Your family, relatives, friends, and of course your teachers who serve as your mentors as you track the path to success. Send them a hug, kiss, chat, text messages, or even make video call to express your gratitude to them. For a grateful person receives bountiful blessings from God. I would like as well to make this opportunity to the us teachers, school administrators, and stakeholders, especially the Office of the Honorable Governor Ben P. Ivardoni for the medals given to the awardees. Thank you so much and we hope that you will sustain your dedication in the ALS and promise to help our clients. Para sa inyo mga awardees ng 2021 end of school year rights of the Alternative Learning System of the Schools Division of Eastern Summer, sabay-sabay nating isigaw, Hindi ako titigil. Aabutin ko ang aking mga pangarap sa buhay. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Sir Antipina, for the touching words felt in our heart. Now, let us listen to the message of acknowledgement to be given to us by the mobile teacher of a Polos district, Ronald T. Coles. In behalf of Alternative Learning System in the District of Iporlos, we would like to say thank you to the local government unit of Iporlos, barangay officials, and other stakeholders. To our district ALS manager for his untiring support. And to the parents who never stop believing your children. You are the undying light to them. Continue to guide the young as they take harder decisions in life. Rest assured that alternative learning system of a poor loss will continue to nourish and mold into the better version of themselves. To our completers, always bring the pride of joy of becoming what you are is because of your desire. Your journey never stop here. Rather, another chapter of your educational life will be unfolded. Congratulations and good luck! Thank you very much for watching the Virtual Completion Rights of Alternative Learning System, Iporlos District. This is your host, Ronald T. Coles, saying, Life is a choice and destiny. Your choice is defined of what you destined to be. Good day and God bless us all.